Today's How to Build is on Kitchen Furniture. So most of the pieces that I are used in this furniture came from the Spongebob set, the uh, Krusty Krab that came out last year, 2010, or this year, early this year, I forget. But um, yeah, anyway, so this is a 4x4 plate that's mostly tile. Uh, then we'll put a 2x4 plate down there. And then we're going to use a one, bunch of uh, round 1x1 one one plates. So two there, stuck in um, a one by one brick. Another one of those over there. Then again, two round one by one stuck in a uh, one by two upward slope. I think I actually had it this way on the chair before. Doesn't matter too much, but that's the bottom of the chair. Then uh, building up. I'm going to use a 1x4 cushion brick, um, tan headlight bricks facing out to each side, just a 1x2 brick, cushion brick, and then this uh, rounded off brick 1x4 at the top. So here is a 1x1, uh, one one or here's the curvy slope. 1x2 plate with a 1x1 one one tile top, headlight brick with a cheese slope on the front, and the plate in the back. And then uh, that fits nicely on the side, and the brown and the tan sort of line up. And do the same thing uh, over here, except mirror the direction of the headlight brick so that it fits in. Now you've got a chair for um, the woman in the robot kitchen to sit in. Um, next we'll do this big long table. So this 6x16 six plate will be a nice uh, center for the table to build off. Uh, then 3x3 three three rounded off plate, four of those, so we get two on each side. And uh, that's the base of our table. Now uh, we're just going to take brown brick to go uh, connect along the back and along the front you know, if you've got some 1x4s or longer bricks that's nice but you can also just do lots and lots of 1x2s which is what I ended up doing here then uh, fill in this area a little bit to do some better connections there and uh, put another pillow brick out here and then I've got a uh, brick with the lines on the side I'm gonna put that there just for some more visual interest on the other side Again, build this out, pillow brick, and line brick. And then take more of those curvy plates on top for each end, and then fill in the rest with uh, plates. I didn't have another 6x16 plate when I was building this, so that's, um, you know, 4x6, and uh, it's actually put a tan brick in there and then, then do a 4x4 uh, four four, a 2x4 two a 2x8 and a 4x8 to fill out that space on the bottom each of these is two 2x6 two bricks with two uh, liney bricks and then uh, stick one of those there of those there and you got a table that's ready to eat off of a chair and a table uh, and then I also want to show you the chandelier so this is involves illegal Lego techniques so if you have any of the um, Lego games 
you might recognize this as the thing that's inside the Lego dice. So there's all this black rubbery stuff and um, with the assistance of an adult you can try to cut all this off. It took me a while to get it off. The rubber is pretty well stuck in there but uh, was able to get it down to the core which means that you can have studs in all the directions which is nice. Um, so then for the lamp it is um, these square flags on these 1x2 plates with handles with 1x2 uh, grill plates on alternating white and yellow all the way around and above that we've got this 1x3 um, lime wedge plate we're going around with. On the bottom, this is uh, two two by two round plates plus the round bottom thing in a, uh, this is I think a three long axle. Yes, three long axle there and a uh, two by two cylinder there. That sticks on there. And then the other side, got another 2x2 two two cylinder with uh, this sort of uh, lance piece stuck on top, and then uh, this 2x2 two two cylinder. When I show you how to build the kitchen tomorrow, you'll see what this connects to, but so that it can hang down and swing around like crazy, but for right now I'll just stand it up as if it was a floor lamp. So there's the... Uh, kitchen furniture and again check back the next couple days for the rest of the kitchen. Mm -hmm.